Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video all about luggage tags. I don't have a strap on this one right now, but there's a reason for that because of some of the information I'm giving you. So I have four luggage tags to show you. I have these two, large and small, Vachetta comparison. And then I have, this also doesn't have a strap on it at the moment. I have this green and this Aben coated leather ones. So I'm gonna talk about those. And you'll know that I had a video that I did where I got a luggage tag uh, pre-loved and I took it into Louis Vuitton to get it hot stamped and was humiliated because they told me it was fake. And I was humili humiliated because I don't want to bring fake items into Louis Vuitton. I did not do that knowingly. Um, it's really embarrassing. So I have these luggage tags that I know are authentic because they've either been hot stamped, well, they've all been hot stamped by Louis Vuitton. That's how I know they're authentic. Um, one of them I purchased at Louis Vuitton. One was a gift, two were gifts, and one I purchased off eBay. So I'm gonna go through these and really educate you because I've educated myself on these luggage tags so hopefully you don't get scammed. You don't look at a, uh, at a tag thinking it's real and purchase it and find out later it's not real. Uh, so I'm gonna go through very detailed what these authentic Louis Vuitton luggage tags look like and things you should look for if you are purchasing one pre-love. Here are the two different size tags on the bag so you can see how much smaller this one is compared to this one. And then I'll take those off and show you side by side. So there are the two tags side by side and I'll give you some measurements. The small luggage tag is three inches from top to bottom, from the top of the curve to the bottom. It is two and a half, a little more than two and a half inches across, like 2.7 maybe. On the large strap, or on the large luggage tag, the height from the curve to the bottom is three and a half inches. It's two inches wide. So here's something interesting about these luggage tags, the strap lengths on them. So this is from the large luggage tag. This is from a small one. And the straps I measured are the same. They're a little more than eight and a half inches. So about 8.7 inches maybe. You can see that they are the same length there. Okay, the Ben and the uh, Vachetta, and then I measured the green one too. That strap is also the same length and that's a small size. However, those are all, they're not old straps or luggage tags. I don't know how old this one is because I didn't buy it. This one I got in 2016, summer of 2016. This one was a gift that I got in December of 2017 and it looked brand new. So I'm gonna assume it's from 2017. This one um, is brand new from, I got it in January of 2018. Um, not sure if it was made in 18 or 17, but look at the straps on these two. I noticed it right away when I put my clip on when I first got that luggage tag. Look at that. So the strap on the new small tag is much shorter. It measures in at 5.5 inches and the long one is 8.5. And you can see how much longer this is. And both of these are on the longest, um, the hole that gives you the longest length. So be aware that that's one difference that you might see in the newest luggage tags. They've shortened the straps. Lily LV has one where the strap is shorter too, so it's not just mine. Um, so that is not something that would make it inauthentic. So just be aware that's a change that they made 2018, 2017, end of 2017, somewhere around there, I'm not sure exactly. Um, but that does not affect authenticity. Let's go over some of the features of the tag and how it looks. So all of mine are hot stamped. Uh, they don't come that way unless you're buying it pre-loved and it's already hot stamped. So on, let's look at the stamping that is there um, already. So you can see on my big tag, it says, has the R with the circle for registered trademark. It says Louis Vuitton Paris. 
And then on my large one and my two smaller ones, it says made in France, whereas my small tag here does not say made in France, which means it was not made in France, it's probably made in the United States. Uh, I'm gonna show you on this, I'm gonna show you on the bigger tag here, because this is an older one. So on the strap, there's this little loop that you put that through. The tag has this curve around it. Now I have seen some that are more squared off, but those are, uh, I've seen them on eBay. So they're either older, like vintage pieces, or they're special edition pieces. So I'm just talking about the regular luggage tags here, because there are limited editions that are different that don't fit um, the things that I'm gonna show you here. So it has the arched top, the cutaway where you look inside and there's a piece of plastic where you would put your your information your name and address and all that that cutaway part is also arched there the hole where the strap goes through is underneath that arch to keep it closed to keep your information private um, around the outside edge and then around both edges of the cut they have imprinted lines and you can see those imprinted lines on both edges of the strap as well the lines go down to the cut and stop right there sorry if vincent's noises there are annoying you uh, she seems to be waking up it's early in the morning now on the stitching something i noticed so this one has yellow stitching my other vachetta one also has yellow stitching my green and brown ones have green and brown stitching. And you can count the stitches if you want. I assume those are always the same. You can pause it here and count. And then here is the small one if you wanna pause that and count. Um, but something I noticed about these is back stitching. I see in the Louis Vuitton Facebook group that some people look at stitching and think that back stitching is a mistake and that that makes it a replica item but that's not true back stitching is just something that is required in sewing to secure the ends of the thread when you're starting or stopping sewing so what I'm talking about here is you see I'm gonna get it as close as I can and hope that it will focus to back up a little so you see the the top thread here I think it's just the one yeah it's just the one top one on this particular tag. There are two pieces of thread. That's because they sewed it and then they back stitched. So the, the machine went back one and that's normal. But I wanted to point out on my big tag here, there's only one back stitch on, uh, let me have to put my glasses on to see this. On my small tag, there are three back stitches. I'm gonna wait for the light to adjust. There we go. Three back stitches on that one. On my green tag, there are two back stitches. I think you can see that there. And then on my brown tag, the Aben tag, there is one back stitch. Focus, focus. There we go, one back stitch on the brown tag. Um, let's see here. Let's look at the side. So on the side of the tag, it's cut open at the top. And this was one of the things when I took that tag that turned out to be fake into Louis Vuitton, and I was asking them, can you tell me what about this tag makes you think that it's fake because I thought it was real. I bought it from a reputable reseller that um, guarantees authenticity. And they said that it shouldn't be split at the top. Well, I knew that was wrong because the tag that I bought directly from that store that told me that other tag was fake is split at the top. And it has to be split at the top so you can fit your information down. When I take the strap off, I'll open it up and show you. Um, if you hear some noise in the background, that's Vincent messing with the bottom of her cage. Just kind of rooting down there and chewing up a cardboard box. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the back of the tag. So the back has that embossing all the way around. Um, it had it all the way around the outer edge on the front here too. 
And that's about all that's going on on the back. So you have the stitching back there. Whatever number of back stitching you have on the front, it'll be the same on the back. And you can see that the tip of the uh, Vincent, you can see the, the end here of the strap is pointed. The fake one that I had, it was cut at an angle and that was one of the big things that people were telling me in the comment section that was that made it an obvious fake to them. Now I'm going to take the straps off and show you some of the features of the body of this luggage tag and the strap that you can't see with the strap on. Here it is with the strap off. This opens out here so you can see your information. So if the strap is on, you'd be able to pull that open to see. And then the top opens up so you can slip the information in and out. Now this comes with a piece of plastic inside to keep your information secure and uh, like waterproof a little bit. I'm gonna take the strap off my small one here too to show you something else that that tag is missing. So on a brand new tag that you get from the store, you're gonna get a little sheet of paper like this too. It's a little ivory sheet of paper. And I believe my other two have it. My brown one has it, and I've put my personal information on that one. And my green one has it. I won't show you the brown one, but there's the green one with the little slip of paper. All right, um, so that was, this one is a little bit wonky, so let me get that. This one I bought pre-loved on eBay. So the piece that comes out here is pretty tight in there. It's not just gonna come loose and you have to kind of force it a little to get it back in. So it's an exact fit. So the hole to put the strap in is flat on the top and bottom, but then it's rounded on the edges there. Okay, show you the sides. So again, it's open on the top, but then it's, it's glazed all around the top and around the side and the bottom and of course the other side. I'm gonna show you the strap now, the older strap, but I've checked all these out and the details are all the same on these. Another thing that people told me about the, um, the luggage tag that I had that was fake was that the buckle was wrong. So I'm gonna hold up all these buckles and show you. So compare all those buckles and they all look pretty much the same, don't they? They're rectangular, um, but they have a little bit of a rounded edge. And then I'll show you one of them from the side. So you can see there. So this side has the little clip that you put through the hole and then this side has this squared piece that you slip the strap through to keep it more secure on the tag. So let me show you some things on this buckle. Right above this buckle, you'll see this rivet. On that rivet, hopefully it'll focus here, um, close enough for you to see, but on that rivet, rivet, it says Louis Vuitton, stamped on there. And then of course, right on the back is the other side of that rivet, and that also says Louis Vuitton. One of the things I looked at when I was deciding to buy this New York tag online, because I wanted to make sure that was authentic, um, is I, I just really went over all the details of a bunch of different tags to see what was authentic or not. So you see these two lines that are embossed around the whole edge of the tab, and then it's glazed lightly on the sides. On the back here, that continues, the embossing continues, and the tag is cut off flat, but then the corners are cut too at an angle. So that's something to look for if you're looking at getting a pre-loved tag. The inside of all of these um, is, the inside of the strap is like a suede. It's just the raw side of the leather. Um, this is the short strap from my newest small tag. It has three holes in it. The long strap that I have from an older tag, I'm not sure how old this one is, has four holes in it. The a bend tag has 
four holes, the one that's in and then the three above it. And the green one also has four holes. So it looks like the, the longer straps that are eight and a half inches have four holes. And then the new shorter one that's five and a half inches only has three holes. Let me see if there's anything that I'm missing here. The bottom edges here are cut square, so there's no cut at the, there's no like angular cut like there was on that little bit on the strap. I don't have much to compare this to, but one of the things people said about my fake luggage tag was that they could tell just by looking at it that there was something off about the texture or the shine or something. And when I got this tag, even though I know it's authentic because it was given to me by uh, Lily LV, um, it felt and looked really similar to me than the fake tag as far as the, the Vachetta. And so she was telling me that she thinks and other people think that Vuitton is now putting some kind of coating on the Vachetta, not just on the luggage tags, but on bags too. So let me see, I'm gonna turn these around to the back because that doesn't have stamping on it to distract you. Um, and now, obviously, one of these has a much darker patina than the other one, but I want to see if I can get the shine or texture to show you. So there's some shine on the... Uh, there's some shine on both of them that you can see there. And they're both very smooth. Um, I mean, to me, they both feel like they might have the plastic coating on them. They don't feel like raw leather, but they feel the same and look the same as the leather on my Terren here too. And I don't have one of my older bags out to, to compare vintage Vachetta, but, but then the vintage Vachetta can get dry and has a darker patina too. So I don't know if that's helpful at all. This one's a little dirty on top, I need to clean that. Um, but yeah, it's very smooth. It doesn't have a texture, really. It's just really smooth. Now I can, with my eyes, I don't think it's gonna show up on camera, I can see, I just said it had no texture, but I can see a little bit of texture on them, but you have to hold it at an angle and look close. And I see a little more texture on the, the newer one, the small one, than I do on the big one. And I just don't think that's going to show up at all on camera here. I don't think so. All right, I think that's everything you need to know about luggage tags. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask me. And I hope that's helpful because I don't want you to get um, scammed isn't the right word because they weren't trying to scam me, but I don't want you to get a fake luggage tag like I did. I want you to know what you're talking about, be more educated than I was if you're looking to buy a luggage tag. And I hope this will help you out with that. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, click the bell notification icon, and follow me on Instagram. I'm Autumn Beckman there too. I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Bye.